Hello and welcome. This is Christian Kings 3 and I'm the Emperor and we're playing the game and I'm trying to teach you while I'm talking about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, so you can get an idea of how to play it yourself. We're also taking chat question because we're streaming this live over on Twitch. Come check that out as well. Uh, leave us a follow, leave us a subscription maybe. And if you're new on the YouTube, well, if you got questions, down in the comments you go. But if you come on Twitch, I will help you as best I can. I will explain everything as long as you need for it to sink in. We are playing down here in Bava Vandit and we're looking to form our kingdom title. We're pretty close to it. We're only missing a little bit of gold and that's what we're going to keep working on. So I'll just continue onward. Right. What did you just call my courtier? You libidinist. Or Ibidinist? I think Ibidinist. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. And we have another son. Well, you got born a little bit too late, but you're beautiful. So if you're beautiful, we're gonna we're gonna throw you in diplomacy for sure. That's not even a question. Just instantly into that. Alliance power doesn't matter so much anymore. Especially since none of the real big allies would be willing to ally with us anymore because we have too many alliances. Okay, but we wanted to shop around a little bit here and Quum is kind of small. What, what, what religion are you? Maturidi. You are so alone down here. You don't even know how alone you are. Well, that's your own problem. Wait. If I go Holy War for a duchy, do I get the duchy title? I don't think so, because he doesn't have the duchy title. Like, we only go for... I don't think we get it. We just get to make it, which we already could. So that doesn't necessarily help us. Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be. Yes. Finally, I get one of your jokes. <laughs> it's progress. <laughs> it's a music thing, right? Let's let's tell them to join my side. Come on now. Might accept. 11%. Let's go. Join my side in the in the struggle here. Can't even go for that. Interesting. But I think we're gonna take Quum. And we're just gonna do the holy war for the county. I mean we have a new son. Our new son needs somewhere to stay, to live, to rule. Right? The fanfare always goes hard. Oh, we inherited something again? And is the game crashing now is the question. I mean, the music is still going, so... Nope, didn't crash. Alright. Well, I suppose our son is gonna inherit some stuff here. This lad. Let's get you some titles. He just gets all of that. And... This? And then we are back to three out of three. Very good. And now we're just going to go ahead and get us... No, not the marriage. Let's negotiate that alliance at home. So the home front is nice and safe. We didn't even need to go to war to give our son a little fiefdom to rule. 
That's great. Did you know there is evidence that can be interpreted quite easily by those who have experience in such things that K Kurt Cobain was a trans woman only half in the closet? I did not know that. All right. Our cousin and vassal is a strong vassal who likes this. We're going to put them in. Because our vassals being happy with us is very, very important for a clan leader. In terms of contribution in everything, so... Okay, they keep attacking us. I, I appreciate the very valiant effort, but... I don't think they're gonna get anywhere. Oh god, they're gonna literally keep coming. Alright then. This guy would make an account. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello, what what do my eyes see? We got an inheritance. We got some gold. Okay, this guy is a promoted commander. Oh, yes, he's good. Sure, serve us. We need more knights. Good knights. Okay. It is time, indeed. We're gonna create our kingdom title now. It doesn't really matter that we are at war. So we have a bunch of duchies that we could create. I would like to create this duchy here and make that our primary duchy title, basically. So the duchy of Azerbaijan, we're gonna create. 250 gold out the window. And some prestige in, and now... We can go ahead and create our kingdom for 500 gold and get 400 prestige. And we create the kingdom of Dailan. Yeah! There we go. The Dailamite court. As Amir e Amiran. I have new duties and responsibilities. I will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting our courtiers take part in our daily routines. Our valley is looking sternly at us in a direct lecturing way. Perhaps there is also some surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Bavandid. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Sassanid Dynasty banner, which gives a lot of prestige, some renown, some court grandeur, and some opinion. And we got a smaller, but no less important, Bavandid house banner. Let me s uh, let them see their new Amir e Amiran. Oh, I've never seen a court down here. Oh, I forgot. Man, that looks so cool. That's so pretty. Look at all this. I mean, the windows are a little bit high. But that's great. That looks fantastic. Okay, let's get our court artifacts going. So the big one goes there. Right above our head. Uh, this one goes there. And we got that thing that our father died for. This Oxus bracelet. Which is also really cool. I mean, that's great. That's a cool looking court. I would have liked some more windows, but... That's a big chandelier. Our dear 4CK3 streams, have your little circle banner around your webcam change to match your character's current high style, matching exactly how it looks for uh, such same in CK2. Oof. Um, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That would be a commission work uh, where I would have to ask the original artist if they would be willing to provide me with such. 
So it kind of fits the whole thing. It's not a bad idea. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I specifically, when I did the rework for the profile picture, uh, we have that, we have the empirical, the empire circle for the profile picture. That I had specifically made because I had that originally. And so yeah, that's, that's a little head nod there. Okay, now we could work with duchies, which is actually pr probably not the worst idea. Yeah, you notice that. Perfect. Love it. Glad you did. So we can hold two duchy titles. That's perfectly fine. But I'm assuming that in succession, we're going to lose the other duchy. Yep. So over here, that duchy title, we're going to lose. As it stands. And we're going to lose it to this kid. And over here, we're going to lose another county. That's fine. So... Crown Authority out here doesn't actually give us all that much. Like, titles can be revoked, vassals can be retracted. Like, that's all. I don't actually know what we need high authority for. Rulers can change between a uh, partition succession type. Doesn't matter for us. Doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Like, I think this is the only thing which we might need. Let me check if if the single inheritor things if they need a certain level of uh, control. No. No. Oh yeah, does does not have high crown authority. Okay, so eventually we're gonna have to go to high. But at the moment. Yeah, but at the moment all we get out of it is less opinion of our vassals. That's all. But it doesn't give us anything we need. Title revocation. Ah. Yeah, but what for? We just crush him. Whoever we need to revoke a title for, we just kill him. We destroy him. We ground them into dust. That's fine. The, the, the negative is not so big. We, we can do that. Let's do it. Can't take prestige into our graves, so... Let's spend some moment. Our counselor died. Our marshal died. Our marshals keep dying. Maybe we shouldn't have our marshals also be our... Our commanders. Let's put this guy in. What is going on here? Why is this... Highlighted? Okay. Why is this highlighted? Beautiful wooden sword. I mean, we have a spot. Might as well put it there. Huh? Okay. I can't equip this, apparently. Must be a child. Well, money in my bank, then. Also, what's spice here? Crown authority penalties or tyranny penalties? <laughs> I think tyranny penalties are spicy. Oh, cool. So he kept attacking us and we took him as a prisoner. Immediately ending this little war. Let's disband our troops. And which little child of mine... Oh, we can have another tax jurisdiction now. So that's nice. So which little child of mine would like to get this one? Do all the boys have their own lands now? Yes, they do. What is because of limited? Oh, well, we can actually have four out of four. So we're just going to hold it for now. Is that also because of the limited crown authority? I don't think so. It's because we're a king now. So we can have that. For now. For now. Let's appoint a tax collector on this one. We, like, we don't have anyone in there yet. But might as well put someone in. You know? Like, doesn't matter. And let's go hold court. I wonder, will this be the exact same events as in feudal courts? Or will clan courts have different ones? Let's find out. My half-brother runs a hand. Uh, brother, I seek your aid in combating the issue of lack of sheriffs. 
Cannot fix the problems. Yeah, that's the same one. We know that one. My steward can help you. Might kill him. Clan courts might be different, yeah? Maybe. It's just one of our kids just standing around there. Clipping through their clothing. <laughs> my liege and Amir e Amiran. My acquaintance Peros uh, seeks to honor serving in your retinue of Asvaran. This guy. Yeah, he's good enough. Very well, you may attend me, Peros. I'm not sure why I'm pronouncing that Spanish. I don't think Peros is actually a Spanish name, but there you go. That's what it is. This is getting late in the day, so now the weirdness comes out. My liege, I have to tell you that the people are most dissatisfied with your choice of wife. An illiterate peasant as Amira, uh, how dare you? How uh, dare you? Perhaps you'd back those words up with steel. Problem is, he's actually quite a little bit better than me, so... I'm not your enemy, he is. Let's sow some dissent here. I'm sure if you look this... And this is another way. Let's start with that. Successful negotiation. Very good. They see my side now. I mean, look at her. She's beautiful. It's wonderful. Six court grandeur for us. Peros are dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's check out our court grandeur, actually. Where do we need to be? We need to be at two. We're going down from four. So we should push this a little bit higher. And personally, I do like the food or the lodging. Something that gave us health. I think the food eventually. Stress loss is good. Prestige is also good. Guess I don't care about guess. This is pretty good. Guest recruitment cost down. Like, that's not terrible. I think we're gonna go for the prestige first. So let's push this up a little bit. Change this. Outmoded fashion. Uh, let's see. Warlike court. Yeah, night effectiveness plus 10%. That's all good. And our court language, what shall it be? At the moment, this is Iranian, giving us 4.49. We could switch over to... What is this? Huh? I'm a little bit confused by this selection right now. What? What happened? Could I not just click on one of these and get that? Iranian court language. <laughs> Let's declare war on some people. I like it. No, I think this is just kind of what we're getting here. I don't think I can actually switch it. Like, these are all Iranian. Everyone's speaking Iranian here. So we could try and switch to Arabic. Adopt as new court language. But we cannot adopt until... In five years. I don't know why. But that might be worthwhile. It gives us a whole lot more court grandeur. Because Iranian is a little bit small. Uh, Arabic would be better. Would be cooler. Armenian would be horrible. Greek. I think we might want to go for Arabic eventually. But for now, we're all good. We have the 23rd biggest, bestest court in the world. So you want to declare wars. Just because we are now a king, you want to declare wars. Let's replenish our troops first. Let's do that. We're still a little bit on the suffering end here. And we need to rebuild our war chest. So hold your horses now. Our daughter needs a guardian? Okay, sure. 
I don't care so much about our female children because we can't really do much about them. But what you can do is you can get a little bit of opinion out of that. Uh, so what are you? You are a steward focus. So let's give you to our spy master. So our spy mistress will get 15 opinion of us, which is nice. Let's see, we could also get a wet nurse. Might still make some sense. Let's find this one. Our children are all still young enough to benefit from a wet nurse, I think. And we'll want to go with the one that has good aptitude. We'll pay. We'll just have to save up a little longer for the next war. That's okay. I like that the activities, like, they're kind of fun, but they are so expensive. It's something I rarely ever do. Like, I don't create them. Our queen is pregnant once again. Yeah, nah. You, you can't have everything, Ahsoka. We, we cannot we cannot go and build up the war and then also go on activities. Like, Either or. Competent quadis. I cannot work like this. Every Sharia court in the Grand Emirate is a wretched hive of incompetence. By all means, I will provide what you need. Do I seem made of money? Pasha indeed looks tasty. Well, chat earlier decided that we do not go to war to them. With them. That was chat's decision. We can have another vote on it, but uh, we definitely need a bigger war chest. I'm not going to war with two-digit numbers here. Another betrothed. Community challenge. 95% complete. Captain Bira coming in. Throwing more coins at this. <laughs> you're, you're mainly talking to sisters tonight, so try that approach. You're right, they will marry. Very good, Ahsoka helping out. You're right, they will marry. The lack of alliances between us is shameful. Who are you? And who is this? My player heir? Who is this? Who are you? House unity changes by minus eight. I like my house unity. Fine. Doesn't matter. He can have more women. It's not a problem. <laughs> All right, okay. Community challenge has ended. Yes, we could break the, the betrothal. I don't. Let, let's check. Does that immediately take away from unity? I mean, it costs us a whole level of fame, so no thanks. We just need to marry someone who's a little bit uh, older. Now it does not mean less CK3 streams. I don't think. Uh, I haven't thought that's true. Let's see. So we got the D&D stream, but that's more of a variety thing. Like the the Tuesday stream, or rather formerly Tuesday, now Thursday stream. That is more of a variety thing. Yes, we could just kill them. That's true. We just need to marry someone quicker than them. Like there's a huge age gap. It's going to work out fine. Um, our schedule at the moment is Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So the Thursday stream is like whatever I kind of feel like. Dungeon, uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff sometimes, but that I think is going to be the Civ 6 one. So, why do you want me to kill them? Why is everyone so violent here? Literally, people were killing their own children. Yeah, they were. We don't have to be one of them. It's not even my child. Like, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, uh, I think we need to have another vote. 
going to eat you're starving all right uh, have a good food i hope your first day or whatever at the at the job was great worked out for you and we're here for another i think half an hour 45 minutes something like that so if you make it back then that would be lovely otherwise uh, let's see so this guy here what can we do could still go for oh we can de jour siege this now we don't even have to go holy war but he has more money so we'll have to rely on our allies for this one okay so since this is no longer a holy war and we decided on a holy war earlier it wasn't technically a job. Your sister is an artist and was invited to an anime convention and you went to help. Hey, that's great. You help family. And an artist, so... I say we kill them now. Ahsoka, you are... Yep. <laughs> You're going places. It's just him and his allies versus you. That's generally how, w how war works, yes. <laughs> you meant the Duke? Huh? This guy? Nah. We're just gonna go to regular war here. 109. Let's let's see. Holy war for the duchy costs us less. Uh, nah, we're gonna go for the jour. It is ours. Ours after all. It belongs to us. Kill his kingdom. I mean, that's all he has. Let's get us some allies in. I don't want to go alone. It's dangerous to go alone. I will take some allies. And he won't come. He will come. This guy will come. And this guy will come. And that'll be enough, I hope. And we'll now start raising our troops peacefully, slowly. We are in no rush here. And he got some mercenaries. And we're being called to war somewhere else. As a defender against this guy, sure. I'm gonna totally arrive there. No question. Oh, 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 wait. We're a king now. Yes. Read the new atom. Studied an old battle. Plus one marshal. Oh, we're not good at that. So we're going to go with this. <laughs> what is our claims? Our claim is du jour. Our claim is du jour. We are du jour ruler of these lands. He's holding them illegally. We could give... Durthert these things. Who? What? You're losing me. Okay. We just need some allies to show up here. Okay, so the real strong ally won't be coming with us, okay? They're bent. This guy? I mean, we could. But why? Oh! Suddenly, an army popped up under our butt. A small one. Oh, it's... <laughs> no. A rebellion? <laughs> well, he should thank us. I defeated his rebellion for him. Little peasant revolt. So, okay, so the Thursday stream will have uh, Civilization 6 sometimes now. That's what we're doing. Very right, good. So, what could be a good next uh, community challenge to put up on stream? Let me, guys, l let me know what do you guys think. Oh, some more twins a daughter and a daughter. Cute. And we'll go for envelopment. Men at arms effectiveness up. And I wanted to get the Onagas, but... Oh no, we can afford them. Very good. It's actually quite cheap. 
where you can how about after the end mod for this game where you can put the hands on spikes of this one oh god uh, I'm not I'm not big on modding like I, I would like to still enjoy what's coming for us to us you know I just don't think I don't I just don't think I enjoy the mod so much at least not something like that. What I would do potentially as a mod is um, it's an American based mod. Yeah, and what I would do as a mod potentially is is some fantasy stuff, you know. I'm a, I'm a high fantasy medieval type lad. That's kind of what I'm at. So how do you have already 3000 men all of a sudden? So this might be a problem here. Okay, our ally won, so that's good. So he might just come north. We're putting some Onagas in our army now. So that'll help with that little siege. Let's see. I think... We can't afford him as a guest. So we'll just put ourselves in as a leader. We're the best leader we have. And we have another thousand almost coming. It's a medieval setting post-apocalypse. How is that a medieval setting? How is post-apocalypse -ap a medieval setting? I don't see it. Okay, we're winning despite his massive advantage. That's interesting. You don't see that a lot. I mean, now we got the numerical uh, post-apocalypse at any time. But how can it be in America if it's a medieval setting? <laughs> if it's the real world, you know? Also, why do we get the trebuchet animation down here for Onagas? That's just a little bit weird. Oh, look at that. The peasantry is coming. The Armenians are coming for us. Oh, 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 oh. Basically, tech-wise, it's a medium. Yeah, I get it. Nah, I'm... Like, I do like Fallout Diamond for Sun stuff. Demands the imperial hydrate. Thank you, Diamond Sun 1. I will absolutely heed. <sighs> Your demands... Will be met. It's got no zombies or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me finish. Let me land here. I do like Fallout, but in terms of what I like to spend time with, as a setting, post-apocalypse is only something I like. Kind of watch as movies or something. Yeah. New Vegas playthrough. I mean, we can we can we can vote on on stuff for YouTube as well. Like it needn't just be stuff for uh, for. What's happening here? It needn't be just stuff for stream. Okay, but you guys need to understand. I'm a little picky with my games. I'm a little bit picky. New Vegas playthrough. I don't think I've ever played New Vegas. Isn't there like a Game of Thrones or a Lord of the Rings mod? Isn't that something we could do? I'll... I'll... I'll think about it, okay? I'll think about it. Found soulmate. Oh! Our lover is finally our soulmate. Nice. Yes, but you have not seen anyone do after the NCK3. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
But I don't know if I would enjoy it. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't I don't want to sit here and be sad. I have no connection to Game of Thrones. It's eh to you. Same here with Game of Thrones. Okay. I mean, I quite like the books. And the first three seasons were almost, almost identical to the books. So that was pretty cool. Back then, I still had hope that they might continue with good stuff before all the not-so-good stuff came out. <laughs> okay, one of our allies is getting themselves beat up. And I'm not abandoning a siege that's going well to help an ally. Ah, uh, yes, in the first few seasons they did, and it was very much for the better, because the writing is actually pretty decent. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, they failed once they stopped. They should have never stopped doing that. That's That was their problem. That's why the show really went away. <laughs> yeah. Nah, they didn't do well. Sadly. Huge waste. No, 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 no. They started deviating even before they ran out of books. They just started rushing stuff. Um... So, in season 4 or 5 or something, they still had enough book to go by. If they had just spent more time on what, was, on what was in the books, they would even never have run out of the books. That's the thing. But, doesn't matter. It's fine. So, uh, you could... Oh, Siege Dad. Yeah, yeah, you fair. I'm not gonna think about the ending. Makes me sad. Hey, we have 69% war score. <laughs> and now we have 100% war score. What the... There we go. Ooh, we seized an artifact. Nice. With the health boost on it as well. Thank you. Mmm. Disease resistance and a health boost. And fertility and prowess. Wow. Okay, that's a big one. Alrighty. Wait. Oh, right. Ah, it's a du jour claim, so he... He keeps his stuff. Let's bully him. <laughs> Let's bully him. He needs to... He needs to go ahead and... Blessed be Allah. I should have just revoked this title. I should... Well, I might, I might still do so. Doesn't really matter. Needs an ending and the dude's been procrastinating for like 10 years now. Ah! Let him do whatever. It's fine. It doesn't need an ending. Not every story does. Okay. Is this guy in its, in its own tax bracket now? No, he's still in this one. Alright, fine. So we have absorbed them. But I don't quite like what we've made here. So. Well, his heirs do kind of like us. Can we get you a marriage going? Do you have someone? Why do we not get an alliance out of this? Oh, we do. Will he go for matrilineal? With one of our daughters? He actually will not. <laughs> okay, but doesn't he have sons? Okay, yeah, he does, but... Everything here is... Taken. How? There we go. Take that. It's all good. It's all good. Let's do some ransom here. I don't care. I don't need to revoke. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. Chill. Relax. It's all good. I don't need to revoke. I'm fine with if I'm just allied. It's also good for me. It's fine. We're not min-maxing here. No min-maxing. We're just we're just going with the flow. 
going with the vibe. Now, something else I would like to do is continue growing our du jour. Ah. Could have given the... Yes, I could have. So, <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see. The benign... Eh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, sure. Who are we attacking? Something down there. I am not moving my troops for this. Or am I? Might get something out of a siege or so. Ah, you know what? Come. They they helped us so much. We're gonna we're gonna at least try. We're gonna at least send something. I don't want to just send my men at arms because that usually ends in disaster. So we're just gonna get everyone up on their feet. And since we have a good income flow now, that's fine. And we're just gonna go and lay siege to this thing. Maybe we get a little bit of gold out of it. He doesn't need us to fight, so that's fine. Uh, no, we're not attacking the Arabic Empire. I know it looked like it, but it actually isn't happening. We're attacking like this little guy. And this guy, I mean, he is a vassal of the Abbasid. I don't know how that works, but the Abbasid are not involved. <laughs> I think it's because they are, yeah, okay, they are vassal. This is a vassal against the vassal. We're not attacking the Arabic Empire. So, the liege ain't involved whatsoever. So, it's all good. So, what does belong de jour to our kingdom title that we don't hold yet? Do we keep Mohammed content or do we make him cynical? I think content is kind of fun. It's not ideal. Humble would be better, as it gives some piety, and we're we're pressed for piety around here. Cynical is definitely out. So humble or content? I think content is fine. I think it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he's my heir. No, he's my heir. But he can be content. No... Skin of my teeth. Or something. And Abdullah. Will he be deceitful? No. I don't want you to be deceitful. Could you be honest? Maybe. Let's make you humble. We're all guided by rules greater than ourselves, child. I will not raise a liar. Why would I not want a content here? Doesn't matter. Content doesn't hurt us. You want content other children? I don't... It doesn't... So, content... I think what you're arguing is the following. The, content is good in a vassal. You want content vassals. That's great. So they're not trying to reach. But in an heir, it literally doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant as a trait. Um, it's... It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't help you. It's, it's an eh trait. It's okay. It's not bad. It doesn't hurt you. I don't think we need to... You need to not have it. Doesn't matter. And if if your child and heir is still a vassal to someone, it's actually a good trait to get. Because your liege will like you better. We don't have a liege, so it doesn't matter to us. It's, just, it's literally irrelevant. Uh, church leaders will like us a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. 
Should we go to chivalry? Um, no. No, no. I wanted to keep him away from chivalry because everyone on the martial tree in his family has gone for chivalry so far. And, well, he's the one who formed the kingdom being a strategist. So we're going to keep on on a strategy. And now we can go for this because now we have siege weapons that we can increase the effectiveness of. That makes a lot of sense now. Didn't before. Speaking it didn't before, uh, we're going to push this up to the max size we can give it. And we're going to go and station them once they are done being raised. And we have another pregnancy in our wife. Hello, ally. Do you see me? Do you see me fight your war? Ally, are you happy with me? <laughs> Please say you're happy with me. Okay, we're grouping these and I can't put in my half-brother because he's commanding elsewhere. But we can put this guy in. Just to keep the siege progressing a little bit quicker. And transfer some vessels around. No. I don't want to make that guy stronger. Absolutely not. Have some ransoms. Ooh. It's actually pretty good ransoms. And it's from our vassal that hates us. So... <laughs> He can give us some money. We'll take it for sure. Thank you, my dear vassal. I appreciate your contribution to the realm. Take the reins, Assad. Encourage improvements. Vassals shouldn't be taking such liberties. He gets 20 opinion with us. How will that ever help? Respect, minus 25. Authority, minus 30, because he's a different supporter. Uh, yeah, that's not going to help. Encourage improvements, some development growth. I mean, I kind of want the development growth, but I also kind of want to bully this dude. So, no. <laughs> I will give you half that amount when I see the book finished. You promise to pay 495 gold when the book is finished. Are you absolutely crazy out of your mind? This must be a misunderstanding. Your mediation succeeds. Okay. 999 chapters of gold. Promise me 999 talents of gold. One for each chapter. Okay, let's send them elsewhere. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were right. We, we mediated that properly. Very good. Well done. <laughs> well done, us. What I'm missing a little bit is our dynasty options. Uh, we must be close to another new dynasty option, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we be? It should be close. Placate vassals. Encourage house members to improve. Wait a moment. What is all this? I never looked at that. Okay, we're pretty far away still. What is all this? Promote development. If we spend 60 gold and 380. Ah, yes. The, uh, bring Amir Asad in. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Promote the development for everyone. Whew. Encourage economy improvement. Rulers will adopt the builder economical archetype. Okay. And it costs us only a hundred piety. I mean, sure. Why shouldn't we? Let's go. I'm a full on harmonious here. Are you winning, son? And we got a new sun, a little abuzz. And we got a hundred prestige out of helping our ally because we were so helpful. Let's disband some. We're doing so good here. 
getting places, growing spaces. Could announce the opposition to the caliphate. I don't want to. My treat, I guess. Okay, someone ate everything and I just want to take the option that gives us less stress. That's all I want to do here. More money for me from our dear vassal. Lovely, thank you. And now we can station our Onagas somewhere. Oop. And we'll put them right there. In cool. Taxes benefit the both of us. Farzad becomes a brilliant strategist. Surely you could do better. now. You can do that. You're a good daughter. She loves us unconditionally. Thank you. Making our stressful lives a little bit less stressful. What else is in your kingdom that we don't have? What tiles can be created? Um, a bunch. A bunch of duchies, I think. The Duchy of Dailam, the Duchy of Rai, and the Duchy of Greater Armenia up there. So that's a good amount. I'm just not so sure we should because honestly, everything is kind of splintered around. <laughs> so. And we're not nearly anywhere on our vassal limit. I don't think. We're out of 12 out of 40. So... I don't really have a need to get some dukes going. Calm down. We can have a look at it together. Let's do that. He's probably going to go for cutting corners because our stewardship skill is just not good enough to help here. But all the other options, I think, are also kind of bad. Oh, he gained new focus. Very good. He didn't get cutting corners. Low percent chance sometimes works out. Always fun when it does. But then again, we could have a counterweight to this one guy. So let's see. This guy is a little bit split around. This guy is a little bit split around. <laughs> it's all my fault. But I wanted to see what the jour belongs to us still that we don't have yet. Oh no. Okay, only only this. Which just became free. So we could seize the Shadam of Azerbaijan. And back someone becomes our vassal. Should we do this? It's a very costly war though. Mm, no, they're they're a little bit too strong for us. We would have to rely on every single ally of ours, and I know that not all of them are going to come, so. Yeah. Conquer Duchy could be good, but we can't. It's forbidden. In the current struggle phase, we can't do that. What about the Ramazan? Oh yeah, we could check these guys out again. Nope. Nothing. In the current phase, we can't attack them with the Casas Belli we got. Because we are in the stabilization phase, so no internal wars allowed, basically. We could check Korzan. They have 185 soldiers right now. 185. I mean, that's, you know, let's go. That one is, is, is a gift. They're literally sitting there and they're like, here, take it. Please. It belongs to you after all. Have it. Okay, our martial skill increases by one. Very good. Let's put in the siege lad. I love our helmets. With the with the peasant pheasant. The pheasant feathers. Well, what is this? What is that wall?
Great Wall of Gorgon. Fort level plus one. Garrison size plus 25. That's cool. I mean, makes sense to build that there. Let's go hold some court. Okay, who do we have? Survey begins for 120 gold. Uh, sure. I never do these, but we have the money right now, so let's go. Let's get that going. See what happens. And... We'll just do the disguise thing. I've always done the disguise thing here. We get some lifestyle and potential stuff, so... Successfully deceive someone. Very good. I never forget a face. I shall be fine. 88% chance we get some diplomacy lifestyle and 6 court grandeur. I think that we'll take that. Let's see. Maybe we confuse people, but we do not. We're actually a pretty good diplomat. So we manage. Alright. Eventually they do find out about our deceit, so... That's a little bit bad. The girl died that we sent in place. Of the real girl. Whoops. Alright, all the children, let's go meet your peers, enjoy, have a good play date. The Armenian principalities are shrinking a little bit. Okay. Our wife felt a little bit ill during a smallpox outbreak, but it's fine now. Oh, Kazaria is ballooned. Okay, should Mohammed be sadistic? Probably not. I mean... Maybe? Oh, he could become zealous instead. Marshal plus 2, monthly piety plus 20%. I mean, that's good. That's, that's more what he needs. So we're gonna push him towards zealousy. And not make him a sadist. Kazaria is big. Oh, what do we want to be? Let's be a military engineer. That way we can lead armies all the time. So now we can lead our own army again. So we have a really good leader, or best leader in... Uh, is he in a civil war? Yes, he is. But I don't think that's what weakened him so much. Because that just started. But he's definitely weak, like... Oh no, it didn't just start. Yeah, he's, he's losing due to a civil war there. Ah, well. His loss are gain, right? So it goes. Do be aware that the AI also takes uh, advantage of these types of situations, so... Our Amira is pregnant again. I mean, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen so many internal alliances. It's kind of crazy. Springing into action to save your friend, admirable. Should Abdullah be impatient? I mean, we're impatient. Honest or arbitrary? It's sinful, so we don't go for arbitrary. I think we'll just keep him impatient, that's fine. What the hell happened to our wife? Why? Nothing? She's fine. Or do you mean a different wife? Her? She always was disfigured. From the day we met her. Nothing happened to her. Okay, we've won our siege here, but that's not all we need to take. There's another... Do I have to take cities? Okay. That's odd. I have to siege cities. Maybe that's due to this great wall thing here. Yeah. 
Usually you only have to take castles. I've not actually seen needing to take a city. I know you can, but I've not seen that it is a requirement so far. Interesting. Excellent job, uh, Togekin. So the stewardship land survey was done. And it gives us vassal tax contribution plus 5%. It's not bad. Equals out our income here. Oh, yes. Dynasty legacy. So we only have one so far. Warfare. And I think we're going to go for generational belligerence. We have been waging war all the time. That's what our dynasty is about so far. And until someone comes along who does something else, we're going to keep going with it. What about fertility? I don't care. Again, no min-maxing. We have no trouble having children. I mean, look at this. With with four spouses, we have 13 kids. What, what do I want fertility for? Not blood? No. If you if you're new to the game, I fully recommend go for blood. Definitely. Get get some good traits in there. Get fertility. All that stuff helps. Uh, but generally, yeah. It's just... It doesn't matter to me. You don't need it. You can play any way you want. That's the great thing about Crusader Kings 3. One of the very few games out there where every single choice is viable. You have to approach everything very differently depending on your choices. But they're all viable. And I think that's fantastic, so... You don't really get that in games. Let's try and catch this army here. I have no idea where you're going. Maybe he's going for our capital? But I don't care to go in there, so... We'll just try and attack him somewhere. Fight him. Win. I gotta drink some more. Alright. Living off the land. We don't really need that all that much, but okay, we'll we'll take it. And now we go in here. And we get our battle. I mean, he has a cool flag. But that won't help him. Captured some enemy combatants. And we completely destroyed that army. So, now we could either go attack him further. Oh, no. Kurdistan conquest of Tabriz. Okay, then. Uh, let's get all our allies in here. In the defensive war, anyway. The other one, we're just gonna go tick up. So we're gonna go turn around and go back home. Provide some defensive... ...functions here. But that's good, so now they put themselves on the map for me to attack next. Not too smart of them, but... Very good for us. It's a dangerous place here to fight. This is all very mountainous and things. Okay, there's two armies. So we could maybe potentially fight one of them. But we definitely cannot fight both of them. Not without our allies. And they are a little bit away. And we got another son. Another Mohammed. Let's go. What shall you be? Let's... Get another warrior in here. 
I'm not caring so much. Yeah, learning, I thought about it for a second, but we can't decide who our Mufti is, so learning doesn't help us much. It would give us a good court physician, maybe, but that's kind of it. Okay, so this is a bit of a dangerous gamble right now. It's a balanced battle. We do have allies coming in, so potentially... Potentially we can win this, but it's a gamble. For sure. It's looking good for us at this point. The blue bar is bigger than the red bar. Have we nothing more important to tend to? Ah, oh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, so our gamble paid off. So now we can go attack them here. And we're gonna attack the smaller army. Because that's also in the mountains, whereas this here is in drylands. And this here is defensive on our end. So hopefully we reach before he finishes his siege in our mountainous area. But that should be the right thing to do. Because even if he reinforces, we are defending in mountains. And we have allies coming up, so... We'll beat down this army pretty hard before he even joins in. And we have a huge advantage, as you can tell. So we would even win this without our allies, which is... rare. But it works out for us. Very nice. Very nicely done. Well, I appreciate that. Let's go siege some stuff. Let's go push back a little. Oh, look, he's... Oh, no, that, that's the army we, defe we defeated first. It's not more allies of his coming in. He just had the great misfortune to face us alone with his army. Okay, let's see if we can't catch him. I mean, now he's being encircled. He's not really going anywhere. And all of our allies are coming in now. So despite us fighting in the mountains against him, so he has the defensive position, uh, we should be fine just through numerical superiority on this one. Oh, we were wounded personally. Oh, no. So this war, we actually get more war score. We are not limited to 50% because it's a defensive war. So if we defeat or keep defeating them, we can actually win just by that. Which is nice, I think. Oh, yes. Please run into neutral lands. I don't even know who gets the defender and the attacker in neutral lands. I think whoever stands there. But I'm fine to fight you defensively in my own lands. I don't mind. And that's the war over there that we just waited to tick down. Very good. So now we own Gurgan. Time to give another son of ours another thing. Oh, that nephew is amazing. Look at him. Oh, that's a good nephew. But I think it should be a son. Then again, do we even have a son that doesn't have anything yet? Yes, we do. So the good nephew or our son? Give it to the nephew? Yeah, okay. I'm, go I'm gonna give it to the good nephew. That's fine. More good blood in here. Let's get that alliance in. Okay, we're fighting. Here it's a little bit more equal, but we're still winning. Even without our allies' armies joining in, but here they come, so... I ain't opposed to that. Oh, big. So due to our culture, we win defensive wars already in 90%. 
So, thanks. And look at that. Winning a defensive war can be super, super good. Unless it's Viking invaders. But on a regular defense, 429 gold for us now. He has to pay. Reparations. Full on destruction. And now we're rich. Let's go build. I mean, rich ish. Can we upgrade castle? No. So we should build something that's good for whoever is stationed here. We have Pike stationed. So barracks would be good. Gives us some extra levies too. We could, of course, station something else here, but. We see a lot of horse around, so I think we want to keep the pike, actually. So let's build this. And maybe... Can we build another holding? We can. Let's construct that temple here. Because we'll have to build it eventually. Might as well do it now. I should have thought about where I put it. I put the temple there in the center and I just kind of did it randomly. Um, you want to keep land with farmland to yourself, ideally. So that didn't really work out there, but if, I think everything around here is kind of farmland. And whatever isn't is nice and hilly and mountainous, so also good for us. For defensive reasons. We're looking at some peasant revolts, potentially, maybe. But I think... We're good for now and for today. We have been streaming for five and a half hours. <laughs> and the YouTube recording is also up on an hour. So we'll say bye to YouTube first. If you're watching over on YouTube, we stream Crusader Kings 3 twice per week on Twitch. Come check it out. Leave a follow. Leave a subscription. And if you're not subscribed on YouTube, what are you doing? Subscribe. Turn on the alert thing. Thanks for watching on YouTube. If you've got questions, down in the comments you go. See you around. Until then, bye-bye.